Pretty sure there's supposed to be something in there. It's morning. I've heard some ruckus down to the shop. Let's see what it is. Hey, look at this. This is a kid that's tired of riding the bus. What we got going on, land? We're putting a new motor in my truck, finally. So I'll give you a quick rundown on this. I've had tons of comments wondering, hey, where's Landon's truck at that you guys built? Well, it's right here. That's my derby motor I built. She's locked up tight. He was coming down back street in Orderville, just idling along 25 and she uh, seized up on him. We had uh, another truck that had a 6.0 in it. We pulled it out, sent it down to Merlin to get a wiring harness and stuff built. He called me and asked me if it had been at the bottom of the lake for a long time, because it was junk. So I gotta ask, what do you know about the story of that motor? I bought that truck for a hundred bucks. It was actually a friend of mine's truck. He drove it for a long time and then okay. he parked it, it had a miss. Okay. And I bought the truck from it. I thought maybe it had come out of a flood. I was gonna pull it apart and rebuild it, and I flipped it upside down and I was turning it over and I saw rust in one of the cylinders and rust on the camshaft. I steam cleaned it out, I got it to turn over and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna throw a fuel injection setup on it and just start it. It clanked and rattled and hammered and it did have a misfire. I think all the lifters have collapsed. In it. Like, <laughs> it looks uh, like they were doing a water crossing or something and maybe got caught in the mud. There, so. there was mud in the intake ports oh, and all of that. So, cool. anyway, left all the accessories on it. It's got oh, yeah. AC, everything. He put another motor together. So we got a 6.0, a 4L80, and a 208 transfer case. We're gonna stuff in this thing and see if we can't make it run. Here we go. All right, we're making a little progress. Motor, or the front clip is off the truck. Land is currently unbolting alternator bracket and power steering. We'll set that out of the way, then we'll pull the water pump because it's all going on this other motor. Pull the headers off. Spark plugs out. This is fuel injection, this Holly Sniper. We'll pull it off, and then we should be able to unbolt motor mounts and pull this thing. We'll have her out in no time. We'll show you the new motor that's over there. Going back into it, and we'll show you all the modifications to an automatic. So, here we go. All right, we just pulled the plugs out of this thing to see the story, to tell the tale. Yep, that's what happened. RPMs. Look at this. He says idling. It was just idling. That's the ring off a piston. Just idling. I swear it, just idling, Dad. When you have debris in the intake field, or in the intake, um, not idling. All right, we're at this point. We're swapping engine plates out right now. We'll get those off. Then we'll swing this motor out of the way and we'll get his new motor up here. Hopefully by tonight, we'll have it stabbed in here. I guess let's take this over. I engineered it so that you could swing a motor through here. I'll lift this up, set it up on here, and put the motor mounts in it. Right there. Well, okay, we'll bolt the motor mounts on. We gotta take this AC bracket off and relocate AC to somewhere else. We'll get all that done and we'll show you putting it in. Go down a little. There we go. We're gonna have to jack the, we got some stuff to do to make it fit, but it's gonna fit. So, got the motor stuffed in here. We're gonna throw these bolts in it, and then we gotta pick it up, try to get the trans cross member in it, and then he can start putting this thing back together. New motor installed. So, you guys seen on episodes a while ago, Merlin. Merlin's old school garage brought this motor up to us. He built the wiring harness for it. Factory computer going in it. We got to put a drive-by wire throttle pedal in this thing. And Landon's no longer going to be a four-speed guy. Going to be an automatic. So we'll continue bolting this thing up and then we'll show you when we get the transfer case stuff going in it. We've got motor setting in and is to this point. Me and Landon have had enough for tonight. We are uh, calling her a day. We'll work on this another day. And we'll get her done. Basically, it's just going to be a matter of bolting everything back up, getting the front all buttoned up, wiring all ran, and then we'll stub the front clip on it, and then we can start tackling the inside, getting all the, the shifter column in it and everything. Monday, we'll tackle it. All right, it's Monday morning. I told you we'd be back on our Monday, so Ben's here. We're going to 
try to get most of it buttoned up. I mean, Landon's not here to work on it, but it's in my way. So it's always got to move. Lucky for him, <laughs> we're gonna work on it because it's in the way. So we're gonna lift it up right now. Oh, we discovered something. Got a broken off bolt in the exhaust right there. I gotta get that out before I put headers on it. Go we're ahead. gonna get the cross member put in it so that the motor will support itself. We'll do that now. Should be pretty easy. We've got this, this here situation. And I think what we gotta do is bolt that right there like that. Cool thing about GM. The mound off of this 88 Suburban bolts to this 2005 transmission. Chevy, why not, man? That's freaking awesome. Did you like that? Just barely? Uh, that, was nice. that was tricky, wasn't it? Yeah. You had to think about it. I did for a second. second. I'm like, how am I gonna do this with no hands? <laughs> I got it. I like it. We're gonna be mounted in no time. Oh, the only thing I don't know is if that transfer case is the same spline count as that. We're about to find that out though. Huh. That's gonna work. Here, hold that side up while you're, while you're just standing there. My exhaust is gonna be a problem. Huh? Maybe not once the header's up and on. Oh yeah, once it's on there, maybe. Okay. I guess we'll bolt this up, then we'll let down get the exhaust bolted up to the heads. And so see what this we is where it out. is, and then we can probably just cut it off, put a transfer case in it. Don't let me hit your arm. Yeah, that's gonna get cut off of there and moved. Probably, oh, that one's a ways off. I mean, it's gotta go. Something like that is where it was riding. Oh, that's not too it bad. It may be. Just the one side. Yeah, it may not be as bad as we think, but. You're the best overhead driller I know, though. I've uh, I've done one or two, so yeah, looks like four more. Four more it is. Does that go on the inside? It doesn't, does it? No, it goes on the bottom. Cause those holes would almost. Oh, it does. If it went on the inside, and we bolted those. We were just testing ourselves. Ready? Yeah. That's looking way more better. And we might have to get that out of the way then, huh? Let me go get a Sawzall. Yeah, it's kind of right in the way. Well, we'll fix that. Just cut it there and I'll hold it so it doesn't hit your head. Now let's see if it fits in where it's supposed to go. I'll go up just to right there. Okay. And they kind of line up. Which one? That front one does. Okay, I got the front one too, so we'll, we'll have, have to, to drill, drill back one. one. That's better. Let's let it down and see if the transfer case will go on. Or if it's hitting the floorboard. Oh, it's going on right there. Is it? I think the exhaust would be out of the way once it got on there. That ain't big enough. Uh, I didn't think it was. All right, so new developments. It's like we thought, it's the wrong spline. So we're putting a 241 in it. We'll figure the speedometer out as we go. But for now, we're gonna let it down, get the exhaust bolted up, and try to get the whole front end of this thing all buttoned up so this truck's mobile. All right, this has got the normal LS broken bolt. You've seen me do this a few times. This one's different because someone's tried to drill it and they've broken easy out inside the bolt. So we're gonna see if we can't get crazy and weld something to it and get it to come out. All right, we've got problems. Can't see it? Silicone. I gotta buff it off. All right, we cleaned all the blue silicone off, so it will arc here. Yeah, I like the ones with the flat bottom. You can push on the wrench and keep them, keep them tight where you like them. She's gonna be good, Hunter. It's coming right out of there. Wanna bet? No. Why not? I don't think it's going to, but you always... You're not wrong very much. <laughs> Hey, gonna, but I don't wait, think you, it's going did you hear to. That? I did. What, what'd you I say? didn't never think I'd hear him utter those words. <laughs> yeah, should have bet. Dang it! Oh, that's just part of the tap. Huh? Yep, I got part of the tap that time. I feel like this one's pretty good. I've had some that won't come out though. Look at that. That's unusual. That only took me two tries. There it is, right there. That's what winning is starting to look like. And put that on. We can bolt all the accessories on. Throw the front clip on it. And this thing can come in and out of the shop instead of being
being an ornament. Lay down. Roll over. Lay down. Just got to goop them up because these things always leak no matter what. You'll learn this on LS. You'll probably get 200,000 miles out of the pump and 50 on the gaskets. Hunter, if you don't recognize the character on this box, yeah, you're in trouble. You know this guy. That's Home Alone, right? You don't know that character. You do? Yeah. What? You'll shoot your eye out. No. Shoot your eye out. This is the Christmas story. My kids are well. <laughs> I have no Come idea. On. You are terrible. I am. What? We've got fudge. We focus in the future, not the past. <laughs> My kids will program these buttons. You just turn it, you can record what you want. Wait, what? You can, we can put stuff on there? Oh yeah, there? listen to this. Hunter doesn't know anything. Hunter doesn't know anything. I need one of those. <laughs> this one over here. This sounds like a job for Ben. This sounds like a job for Ben. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep, we're gonna use those a bunch. Thanks, Rick. He's getting entertainment out of that. We gotta put it? some on for him. Oh, for we're Michelle. Gonna, Michelle we're gonna throw some messages on it. it. Okay, thermostat. Belterude. Belterude. And we just need a three quarter plug. You don't have the video. Look me. what she brought Here. me. Chicken burritos. Oh, oh you my. have to share them. Jace, you better go up to the house or something. Perfect. Pivot around. Alright, front clips back on. Done. All right. So I know absolutely nothing about this, but I know those bolts are loose. So we can do one of two things. Pull them off and see, or we could tighten them down and hope for the best. Turn them. Yep. There That's go. neutral. That's a two wheel. That should be four high. Yep. So maybe the transfer case is good. I don't know why that was loose. Where'd you get this one from? That's the problem. Oh, all right. I have no idea <laughs> where this came from. I've been... Ouch! I've been tripping over it for a while. Did you almost laugh? No. He did. Don't laugh, because I almost bled. There was blood and every step. That's close. Say if we want to tear it apart. It looks like it's had a half case put on it. Oh, I think it's brand new. It is brand new. It's never had oil in it. Send it. Why does my kid get all the good stuff? I know, you must have won in that trade somehow. Put a breather in it, and it's going in. Well, it's in there, now what? Looks like the 89 was the first year with this T-case and had a mechanical speedo. 89, huh? I got it built. I mean, that's good. It just doesn't stay in there. Yeah, we'll figure that out. I may put some sticky stuff on it and glue it right there. Look at that sculpting job. That won't leak now. Built. A jerky package and a zip tie. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Ben went out in the old parts storage, came up with a new back half that has a speedometer sensor in it. Like we need, this one's electronic. We're gonna pull this apart. We'll swap this real quick. Alright. Suppliers. You might need it. 13 millimeter socket. Chuck me one of those bad boys. Oh, Just has a reluctor wheel on this one. So we're gonna have to slip the gear off. Okay. Okay, I'll show you the difference. If you look inside here, this little thing is a magnet. And it goes across this wheel and every time it hits, it calculates how fast you're going. We're going old school, so we need to slide a gear on here. It has another gear that comes in here that turns a cable which goes up to the dash and turns your speedometer, makes the needle go up. It's all gonna work, but the transfer case, I literally think is brand new. Just like that, pull the reluctor wheel off. We'll slip a plastic gear on there. We'll probably tap, tap, tap through that bearing out of there. Put that bearing in it, back together. Yeah, here's the other piece. That should fit right in. Yep, so that fits right in there. We just need the gear that slips onto there. Oh, it just slips off. Let's go see. Ooh. 
<laughs> like a glove. I think that's going to be the ticket right there. Yeah. Show them what a lead foot does. Oh, I got a lead foot and I've never done that. I've blown up one motor in my entire life. It really actually was idling in the backyard. It lost oil pressure. And just I've heard that before. Father like son. Oh, it was a good excuse, but I owned mine. <laughs> That's true. He, he wrecked a few though. I'm not saying I never did. Oh, what no. have I wrecked, actually? You wrecked your truck when you hit those six deer on your way to see your girlfriend that night. It's not a wreck. I never left the roadway. Almost like you knew what you were doing. There it is. There she clipped right into place. Elijah. Transfer case is built. Yeah. Let's put it in. All right. Going in. There we go. That should come right out of the top. Oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be like into tight. This is going with a tail light warranty. You know what that I is? would love what? to renew my tail light warranty. <laughs> as soon as I can't see the tail lights anymore, the warranty's up. Yep, that exhaust is gonna. Well, I guess maybe if we. No, it's gonna have to get cut off. Tighten her down and the transfer case is Sounds in. like Dar's here. Is that it? Oh, Dar. Oh, he's dumping. Dumping another load. Yeah. What do you got for us? Another gob of guck. Oh, yeah? You just moved down out of the way? Yeah. You're not leaving? Oh, do you need me to? Nope. Oh, okay. I dumped you... it up there. Oh, you well, I moved for nothing? Exactly. Oh, you already dumped it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's in. You just gotta drill one hole on each side, bolt it in. And the mount's in. that thing back up and we'll throw the, the mount back on it. And... Alright, starter's in. Alright, we're gonna finish this day up by gutting this old 6-0 and seeing what Landon did to the old girl. Alright, there's parts in there that shouldn't be in there. And how did they get up there? I don't, I don't know man, that's craziness. There's the winner. Oh yeah, there's it dropped a valve. Yep, she dropped a valve and that's So what was that my fault or the motor's fault? Well, combination. <laughs> yeah. High RPMs versus part that just failed. The block's probably good. Unless it shoved a rod. And a rod, through. maybe. Go get an eight millimeter. Okay. I'll bet she was making bad noises. Was it clattering, Landon? It no. wasn't really clattering at all. Oh, yeah, it was. It doesn't matter when the stereo's up. It was making noise. I can tell you that. Because there is chunks everywhere. And this, this is the good side. Yeah, that's the good side. You ready? Pretty sure there's supposed to be something in there. Oh, look. The valve. Oh, there it is. Dude, look how long that ran. Idling, huh? Dude, LS are so bad to the bone. How do you tell it was running? <laughs> because it's carboned beat. up. It's, it's oh. just. This thing was making terrible noises for a long time. Oh, all of that. Oh, that was the piston. One, one piece. That's supposed to be Good. a piston. There's rings. Oh. I see nothing wrong it with it. Didn't that. break the cylinder though, did it? Did it hey, you build it pretty good. Oh yeah, it held. Beat side. that thing to death. Bent it over. Oh yeah, just <laughs> broke the head. <laughs> oh yeah, broke it. Just beat it. She was running good though. It looked okay. like it was firing on was, all cylinders. It was eating, eating fuel. <laughs> Pretty impressive. impressive. Uh, all I can say is, I thought James had it. Yeah. You win. LSs are just yeah. tough, man. So that's what caused it. 
the valve broke. Broke a valve. Pretty, pretty hammer, but it didn't break the block. Pretty How tough motor. did that not break the block? Beating in there as long as it had to have beat to come clear apart. All the parts on the bottom are hitting the, like the windage tray. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it fell out. Oh yeah, the rod seized up. Oh no, I see it. It's, it's just hitting more? No, it, let me see that pry bar. It got a chunk of the ring stuck between it and the crank. You're not supposed to rebuild this through the top side. <laughs> oh yeah, rod still feels good. She'll turn over now. Oh yeah, it'll turn right over. Well, there you have it. It dropped a valve, which catastrophic failure. Technically, maybe not Landon's lead foot all the way. Be honest now. At lunchtime before, it's seen a lot of RPMs. Like twice. More than likely when you have a valve that's broke off like this, normally it's an exhaust valve that causes the problem. But this intake valve evidently kissed the top of the piston, which uh, broke it off and then threw the motor. Just down. So, if you guys look at this, this motor I broke derby and I broke the whole side of this motor off. I welded it back on and it held up through all of that, so pretty good evidently. This is where a flywheel came apart and ruined it on the back of a motor. Cracked this side too and we welded it, so I think uh, we got our money's worth out of this one. Oh, hey, look. This tray's all bent. Look down in there. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Oh, they're not destroyed. No, oh, I actually is. think it's just fine. Uh, yeah, I think it'll run again. Yeah, there's a good cam. Good LS cam. Hey, there's something good out of this motor. Yeah, you didn't ruin it all. We're gonna. Pop that off of there. Okay. Timing well, gear. We got two parts that are good. Yeah, timing chain and, <laughs> and the cam. I'll bet the crank's still good. He's got her undone. She's a little twisted. Nothing wrong with that. It's pretty amazing, really. There's no piston. Okay, that one probably doesn't need to go back together. And the bearing's you, even good. Yeah, unless you want it for a trophy of some sort. I'll keep it as a trophy or something. That boulder back together. Okay, let's start trophy. pulling some more off. Get the next one over. <laughs> the bottom of it's all hammered from stuff running into it. But the rod's still good. Put the cap back on that one. You got it. Put that rod back together. That one's all still good. There they are, our pistons are out. Maybe let's just set this thing down right over there and we'll pull the crank out of it. All right. Come pull it out, I'll lift the block up. How, how's our journals look? Yeah, they're not terrible. I was worried about the reluctor wheel, but it's not beat. But I think they're good still. Yeah, a little polish it. Ooh, that crank right there took a... Took a hit? Ooh, yeah, took a gouge. It's off to be balanced. Yep. So that's okay. All right, so you've seen the damage that was caused all because RPMs basically drop, bend a valve, drop the head of it, and boom, this is what we had. So thanks for watching.